Hmm? Oh, hey guys, I'm Lucas and this is the story of my Kerbal Space Program. Welcome to the never ending glory. It has been a while again since the last episode in which Kerbal Kind came up with a crazy idea to build a Minmus station out of two refueling ships using a bridge. It features a little more crew space to hang out and of course some science equipment. Mounted on the sides are two escape pods which will hopefully bring back Jebediah and Bill to Kerbin safely since they are needed for further missions. The plan is to crew and fuel it back up in the future to science the hell out of Minmus. But first things first, as usual I use my good old Glory Launcher 2 capable of bringing 20 tons to orbit to bring my bridge to the refueling station 1 where the two ships await. Without further ado, Go Launcher 2 with Minmus Station Bridge. On top of the rocket is a simple probe core without any kind of stability assist. This means the rocket is flown completely manually and so will be the docking. Thanks to its aerodynamic stability, keeping the trajectory right is easier than it looks and it goes through first stage separation flawlessly. Since my launcher is kind of overpowered, it aims already outside of the atmosphere and wow, that's actually a pretty lucky aim. All I have to do now is to wait for my apoapsis and burn. There it comes, this was much more simple than expected. Now some correction burns to put the retrograde vectors on the nav ball on top of each other and I'm heading towards it. I arrive at the refueling station 1 on schedule shortly after second state separation, but I won't dock, just park the bridge next to it. Hey Jeb, docking refueling ships to the bridge, I hope my Theo crafting on the ground was right and the ship won't spin out of control. Slowly. That was the first. Now Bill, who is no pilot and pointing in the right direction, proves a little more difficult. But he does it, hmm, maybe the other way around. And here it goes. Goodbye probe core, I don't need you anymore. That's quite a nice ship or station for that matter. Anyways, before I go on, I check the mission control for some useful contracts. Repositioning Glory Probe 1 is a piece of cake again and I think I also grab one about exploring Duna, which is the next logical step and will be my first interplanetary mission. Glory Probe 1's orbit change is really simple and easy funds for my space program. I just have to burn at the periapsis and increase the apoapsis by a few kilometers. However, before my probe is in position, I can send Jeb and Bill to Minmus. They are just at the right spot to aim for it. Minmus orbit is a little inclined and not in line with Kerbin's equator. This means I have to either match the inclination of the orbit or simply aim for the point where both orbits intersect right there. And here we go. The thrust of Glory Station 1 is quite low so it will probably take a few orbits until I manage to raise my apoapsis high enough. Here comes round trip number 1 and the second burn. Round trip number 2 and the third burn which is hopefully the last. That looks really good, the faster I go the bigger the impact my thrust has on my trajectory. And I don't even have to overshoot too much to wait for Minmus to catch up, terrific. Goodbye Kerbin. Meanwhile Glory Probe 1 arrived at the periapsis and I can give it a little push. That's already it, easy funding for my space program. Now there is nothing else to do but to wait for Jeb and Bill to arrive at Minmus and I also almost forgot about someone very special. Gwenson Ste- I mean Kerman waits for rescue and I have no doubt she will be very happy about Glory Rescue Ship arriving. A month passes but finally Gwenson comes into sight. Oh, that's an interesting capsule and I have no idea how she got there. She doesn't seem very happy but I quickly noticed why. The capsule is haunted, quick release. That must have been an error in the matrix. Anyways, she hits the road quickly. The fuel is getting low but I'm confident that, oh maybe I can use the min for a little gravity assist. Hmm, not quite enough, maybe the other way around, uh, no, there goes my fuel efficient gravity assistance. I'm not entirely sure who will be first, Gwenson or Jeb and Bill. Swing by and a little burn. This really shows how slow Bill and Jeb really orbit. Gwenson did a full orbit which took more than a month and now also did a swing by around the moon. But finally, ooh, that was close and unexpected. Gwenson comes in really fast but the science survived. Easy, I really need a new Kerbal slave, uh, I mean worker badly and Gwenson will help to do more missions at the same time. Landed, 
Now some quick signs which ends up being 50 for this mission which is not bad considering it's a bonus. Now back to Minmis. Glory Station is about to arrive and since the orbit is really high it takes only very little energy to get captured in an orbit. I decreased the periapsis really low so I can directly aim for a landing. This spot here looks good. I kill all the horizontal velocity and just drop vertically to make the landing as easy as possible. We are just moments away from the first Kerber ship to land on Minmis. And touchdown. Bill will be the first to leave the capsule and do some science. I immediately take the science out of their containers to stow it into the pot. Which is easier said than done. Next up is Jeb who has the honor to put the flag into the ground and also grab some surface samples. Hmm, that ice lake doesn't look too far away so I will now try to get some samples from there as well. Doing such long EVAs it is important to keep an eye on the propellant. I pretty much need half of it to return back to the station safely. I wish I would do what I advise but I can still walk to the station in the worst case. What a face plant, but totally worth it for 135 science doubling the amount I currently have. Ok, now back. That looks like it will be less than 10 kilometers to walk so it's not too bad. If Bill had a pilot license he could fly the station here but that would be too... Oh my, he went crazy I think. However it looks like he got this. Yes! And here is the capsule since Jeb can't reach it anymore. Run Jeb, run! And tada! The power of reaction wheels. Meanwhile Bill somehow managed to reach orbit already and it's time for Jeb to follow. All I do is aim for Bill. I will try to catch up and dock so they can get both back to Kerbin at the same time. Goodbye Glory Station 1. Not too bad but I have to do an inclination change since Bill is too far away to rendezvous with him directly. A slightly lower orbit brings me up close in no time and there he comes. And docking confirmed. Now I feel transfer since Jeb will do all the piloting now. I do first leave Minwis and drop my periapsis inside Kerbin's atmosphere shortly after. The journey will again take a few days but no problem for the two. The surface is in range in no time and oh not again. Phew, I should really pay more attention in the atmosphere. The important thing now is to stay closely together because this would turn out brutal otherwise. Oh oh Bill, where are you going? It looks like Bill gained some weight. A few hundred meters apart is still ok as long as I can pull the parachutes quickly enough. Come on Jeb. It worked. And splashdown. Jebediah got a little over 300 science while Bill managed to get almost 400. That will definitely allow me to unlock more powerful rocket parts and I think Jeb and Bill deserve a nice holiday trip around Kerbin but that is another story of the never ending glory. <laughs>